Hello students, let us take a look at the overview of the topics that have been covered in chapter 6 lines and angles. So here is the summary. First of all, we learnt about the linear pair axiom. So what does the linear pair axiom state? We have a statement as well as its converse. So let's go with the statement first. If I have a straight line, PQ, it's a straight line. And if I have a ray, OR, that stands on it, then the sum of the adjacent angle so forms is going to be 180 degrees. So angle POR plus angle ROQ is equal to 180 degrees. Now the converse of this. If I have two adjacent angles, right, and if the sum of the two adjacent angles is 180 degrees, then the non, uh, the non common rays form a straight line. This was the linear pair axiom. Then you have vertically opposite angles. If I have two lines, two straight lines, let's say PQ and RS intersecting at any point, let's say O, then there are two pairs of vertically opposite angles formed. One is this angle, one is this pair and the other is this pair. Then the vertically opposite angles are equal. That is angle POR is equal to angle QOS and angle POS is equal to angle QOR. Right? Then you have lines and transversal. So what was about lines and transversal? If I have, first of all here also we have uh, for parallel lines and transversal and for lines with the different types of angles form whether they give you parallel lines or not. So let's take a look at the first part of this. If I have two parallel lines. A, B, C, D, A, B is parallel to C, D and P, Q is the transversal. Then the, obviously when you have two lines and a transversal intersecting them at two different points, let us say M and N, then different types of angles are formed. And let me call these angles as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Correct? So, first of all, the corresponding angles would be equal. So, the corresponding angles are 1 is equal to 5, 2 is equal to 6, similarly 3 is equal to 7 and 4 is equal to 8. Also, I have alternate uh, interior angles equal. So, my alternate interior angles are going to be 3 and 6. So, 3 is going to be equal to 6 and 4 is going to be equal to 5. And the sum of the interior angles on the same side of the transversal is 180 degrees. So 3 plus 5 is 180 degrees and 4 plus 6 is 180 degrees. So this was for parallel, given two parallel lines and transversal intersecting it in two different points. So I had M and N. Let me just mark this clearly. Okay. Now let's say it's not given that AB and CD are parallel lines. But if they give you that the alternate angles are equal, that is... 3 and 6 is equal, uh, 3 and 6 are equal or 4 and 5 are equal. So if they tell you that any of the alternate pair of angles are equal, it means that AB is parallel to CD. Similarly, if they tell you that the corresponding angles are equal, that could be either pair. It could be 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7, 4 and 8. If these any of these pair are equal, then AB is parallel to CD. Similarly, if the sum of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So, 3 plus 5 is 180 degrees or 4 plus 6 is equal to 180 degrees. It implies that AB is parallel to CD. So, this was about our lines and transversal. Now, using the lines and transversal, we uh, finally prove that lines parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. What does this mean? If I have three lines, let us say AB, CD, PQ and RS is the transversal. Okay. So, if AB is parallel to CD, and also AB is parallel to PQ, then these two statements imply that CD is parallel to PQ. You could have n number of lines like these. So if any of the lines, if I have 
n number of lines here if any of the lines is parallel to either of these then all the lines are going to be parallel then angle sum property of a triangle angle sum property of a triangle you've learned this in your 8th class as well and here we have proved it using the axioms and theorems that we learned about parallel lines what does it state that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees so if i have my triangle pqr then angle p plus angle q plus angle r is equal to 180 degrees this was theorem 6.7 of your textbooks and using this angle sum property we deduce the exterior angle theorem so what does exterior angle theorem say if any side let's say i extend side qr is extended to point s it could be any other point for here i'm just extending qr until point s then the exterior angle so formed that is angle prs is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles which is angle p plus angle q this also implies let's consider this as a balancing scale correct if i remove angle p from here let's say p is not there won't this side of the balance go down that means angle prs is greater than angle p similarly let's say i remove q sorry this this is greater than q let's say i remove q now obviously this side of the balance will go down so this implies angle prs is greater than angle p so what do we understand that the exterior angle is always going to be greater than either of the interior opposite angles of the triangle so with this we wind up uh, chapter 6 lines and angles thank you hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies So what are you waiting for subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education